Hi, I'm Kurt Larson and I'm the CTO here at Nimblelink. Today I want to talk to you about the differences between public and private IP addresses, as well as the difference between dynamic and static IP addresses. When you provision a cellular modem, you need to think about how the modem is going to be used in your application to determine the right type of IP configuration used for the product. A private IP address is not reachable by anybody on the internet other than devices within its own private network. A public IP address is reachable by anyone on the internet. When you consider security and how your product is used, it's very convenient to have a public IP address assigned to your product. However, that means anybody in the world can access your product remotely. Not only that, but the way that carriers charge cellular rates, any traffic that somebody else originates and sends to your device is going to cost you money, and you cannot prevent that. A private device, on the other hand, is typically put within a virtual private network inside the carrier's network, and this protects your device through routing rules from external traffic. Working with your carrier, you can assign specific routing rules and open specific ports for your virtual private network. Moving on to the difference between a static IP and a dynamic IP address, a dynamic IP address is randomly assigned to your device whenever your modem connects to the network. This is the equivalent to DHCP networking on a local area network over Ethernet. Every time the device connects, it may or may not get a different IP address. This makes it difficult, if it's a public IP address, in order to find the right IP address to connect to if you're trying to connect remotely to the modem. A static IP address is assigned one time by the carrier and is reserved for your device, just like a phone number on your personal cell phone. That phone number or that IP address is reserved for your device until you tell the carrier to change it. So when you consider your products and your applications, consider whether or not you need a public or private IP address or a static and dynamic IP address. For more information, please visit our website.